guys, Lady Pharaoh and my camera girl. Young Glitter. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and today we are going to talk about old ass motherfucking coons. Yes. They'll be acting crazy. That's mm -hmm. just my thing, okay? The shit that blows me is the fact that I know a lot of old motherfuckers who <laughs> want to pretend like the reason why the world is so fucked up because we got all these young niggas running around trying to be Chief Keef and, you know what I mean, thugging and this, that, and the third. And that's some bullshit. This is my thing. You know, I feel like old niggas don't teach their grandkids. These 36-year-old motherfucking gra grandmothers ain't teach their motherfucking kids. Ain't finna teach their motherfucking great-grandkids. And that's the fucking problem. Y'all want to, like, push shit off on these young kids that, because they don't know where the fuck they come from and they don't know they fucking, uh... What is the word I'm looking for? History? When they don't fucking know their history. Point in fucking case. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened in my motherfucking classroom. So, when we in class, right? Like, this is a cultural class I was taking at the graduate level. So everybody in my class has at least a fucking bachelor's degree. This is shit that blew me. That's a lady in my class. This motherfucker, like, she got to be 55. Uh, at least. Okay? We in class, and there's an Arab girl in the class. Okay, so... We were learning about different cultures and blah, blah, this, that, and the third. And all of a sudden, the black chick is like, yo, uh, I think um, next week we should have Woody Woo come in and tell us all about her Arab culture. And she was like so fucking excited to hear about somebody else's fucking culture. No, bitch. How about you take your ass home and read a motherfucking book about Africa? Because I'm pretty sure you don't know shit about your own culture. Now, what really blows me is the fact that this motherfucker finna come in and tell you about her Arab culture, which ain't shit but African culture, motherfucking, uh, washed, uh, washed up motherfucking African culture. She finna tell you some bullshit that we did, and this motherfucker's so stupid that she gonna believe that Egypt ain't any, ain't, ain't, I can't even motherfucking <laughs> talk. <laughs> She don't, and black bitch better believe that motherfucking Egypt ain't even in Africa because she's that motherfucking ignorant. And she's 50. But yes, my nigga. She 55. Time out. I'm sanctified. Giving me business cards to her motherfucking church and shit. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the shit fucking blows me, man. How are you so fucking devoted to the Lord? I ain't dissing the Lord. Not at, not at all. But <laughs> my thing is, <laughs> you can't pick up a motherfucking book. My thing is, I can see somebody 17, 18 blaming it on, you know, the motherfucking Anglo-Saxon ass fucking education that we received. I get that. But a motherfucker that's 50, Massa is not finna whip your ass for reading a motherfucking bit. I can't even motherfucking <laughs> talk. <laughs> Massa is not about to whoop your ass for reading a motherfucking book, bitch. You are 50. You've been out of motherfucking school since you were 18, which means you done had 30 plus years to get your shit together. That's what blows me. Mm -hmm. Fucking ignorance is a choice at this day and age. You can read, you can fucking Google, you can do every motherfucking thing. Read motherfucking, not read, watch Hidden Colors. They even got a motherfucking video for you motherfuckers that ain't trying to read. And that's what really fucking blows me. People are so fucking excited to go to these other countries and read about shit that's going on in motherfucking Brazil and motherfucking Cabo and motherfucking everywhere. And oh my God, the Holocaust was so fucked up. But they don't know shit about their own motherfucking culture. That's what pisses mm. me off. So you niggas, <laughs> I'm going to need you motherfuckers to read some books, watch some motherfucking videos. I'm going to need you old ass grandmas to sing your motherfucking porch out there. Talking shit, <laughs> talk to your motherfucking grandkids. Yeah. How do you expect for them to know all this shit when you ain't taught them shit? What the fuck? Tell them about my dear. Claire, is that a penis? Get out of my video. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? This <laughs> nigga came and ruined everything. Bye. Oh, my Calvin. God. Go, Calvin. Oh my God. No, oh. Calvin. Typical, go back to McDonald's. Typical coon. Go home, Roger. Looking at him. Back Calvin, to my where is my Calvin? <laughs> back to the ranch, okay? Back to you coons. You're not in the picture. You are not here. I'm going to text you the picture. No, don't send me shit. You're horrible. See how see how these yellow people come and ruin shit? I fucking come. <laughs> I love yellows. I love yellows. 
Go find some melanin. Get out the video. Was that a picture of ball fur? That was a dickhead. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. These Why don't coons. you show me that? These you live here. Fucking coons sending <laughs> dick pics and shit, trying to sex and stuff. I don't have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need this nigga to go yeah, watch I'm Root. Oh my awesome. god. Anyway. Ew, why did I, why did, are you drunk? Moving on. I am Get very out. sorry. I'm very sorry, subscribers. <laughs> There's seven of you that I have. <laughs> I'm very sorry. But no, like I was saying, that shit like pisses me the fuck off. Motherfuckers are so interested in all these other things and what they don't realize is all that shit. Uh, boils back to Africa. So my thing is, before you pick up a book and you try to fucking learn about Asia, learn where the fuck that shit came from. Because half of those motherfucking statues they got over in them Asian fucking countries are niggas. Look how wide they fucking nose are. Mm -hmm. You know any Asians who fucking look like that? Yeah, you know it's lots niggas? of them. I'm talking about the niggas here. What uh -oh. I'm saying is, they don't associate that with being black. They don't get it. You, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And they don't circle that I, shit I know back. what you're saying. I'm just yeah. They don't circle it back. And that's not what we consider to be a typical Asian feature. At least not as an American culture. The wide nose ain't what the fuck niggas think of when they think of fucking Asians. Hell no, mm -hmm. it's not. So, the thing just really fucking pisses me off is niggas need to learn. Get your shit together. I give no fuck that you weren't taught this shit in high school or motherfucking grammar school. Because 50 years from now, we still not going to learn this shit. And then what's, what's going to be my great-grandchildren's excuse? Right. You know, you're never going to be fucking taught that in school. So if you want to fucking learn about your culture, then fucking read a book. Mm -hmm. Young Glenn, what you got to say? Oh, my God. This <laughs> this nigga is. You don't know, trying to get in the video. Well, you're not in it. You're not in it, Calvin. <laughs> you're Glenn. not in it. Young Glenn. Look, you, you see what I mean? How black people always want to play? <laughs> Go on. Ugh. Oh, my God. But this oh, nigga got the nerve to wear a fucking like red, black, black, and green like, wristband. No. Tap dancing ass motherfucker. You see what I'm talking Chuckling, about? Chuckling, jiving ass. No, Clarence. Lynch lives. <laughs> Lynch <laughs> does live. Lynch motherfucking lives. Next topic. Lynch <laughs> living, goddammit. Oh, gee. Okay. Lynch living um, is so fucking true because... Get your mouth in the room. One more time. Stay your ass in the room. Damn. There ain't no cool shaming in this house. Oh, my God. I am cool shaming you all, okay? Oh, my God. Lord to the Jesus. Back to Willie Lynch, okay? Now, Willie Lynch, I don't know if you motherfuckers know about the damn letters, but this shit was written in motherfucking 1713. And in the letter, it says specifically, if this shit is done correctly and implemented correctly, it will it will control niggas for at least 300 years. Now, here we go, 301 motherfucking years. <laughs> that nigga was a psychic, okay? <laughs> Willie Lynch was a prophet. Fuck what you heard. <laughs> Fuck what you heard. And it's bullshit, yo. Like, seriously, the same shit that was fucking controlling niggas on the field, controlling niggas right now on the block. He said, put the light against the dark. Put the, put the soft hair against the fucking, the rougher hair. It's all the, the same old shit. against the young. Yeah. Exactly. The same shit you niggas arguing about now that don't mean shit. And this is what pisses me off. Guys, whether you light skin, caramel, dark skin, chocolate, mocha, chocolate, motherfucking hazelnut, whatever the Calvin. fuck. Calvin. <laughs> Calvin. Motherfucking uh, melanin uh, resistant. Whatever you fucking are. These crackers still look at you as being a nigga. Okay, so at the end of the day, regardless of how fair you think your fucking skin is and how soft you think your hair is and how green you think your motherfucking eyes are, mm. guess what you are the motherfucking Ronald. And Ronald is the walking man. <laughs> Ronald <laughs> McDonald. Fucking nigga. Yes. Uh, nigga. Love me. A red Shut up. nigga. Like they don't love Shut you. Oh, no. Do they know that privilege? Oh, my God. Get, Get out! out. I know they privileged. Jesus. Uh, you know they privileged you right like now. Oh my God, Lord to Jesus. Why are you coming here making our video <laughs> stupid? Like, go away. Girl, I think we need to start over. I'm ready to start over. This nigga that came and ruined it, every fucking let thing. Watch it. Let that shit go, man. Just keep going. Girl, let's watch This nigga it. told me this shit over dinner the other day. Tell me that shit ain't even gonna matter no more, though. That shit don't even matter. Yes, the fuck it does. Oh, Jesus. Can we watch what we got? I'm wrong, ladies, and y'all absolutely right. I need to get my shit together. Get out. I thought his best I need to get my shit up to God. Girl, let me see the video. <laughs>